All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video for today leading up to the ninth season for the Walking Dead television series. In this one, we're going to give our thoughts after the big news yesterday that AMC plans on having the Walking Dead universe uh, continue for at least another 10 years. How will they keep the series going for that long? So this will also serve as our first sort of uh, you know, Q&A after hearing the news now that we've got your guys' uh, feedback about this one. Uh, basically, the news hit uh, yesterday, the day before yesterday, and we did uh, a video giving our thoughts on yesterday. If you guys didn't see that one, uh, AMC president, CEO, kind of, uh, Josh LePan kind of said that, you know, they're planning on having The Walking Dead go for at least another 10 years. So at least another 10 years of The Walking Dead. So uh, even though they're promoting this season, if you guys haven't seen an AMC's channel this past week, which I never ever thought they would do. <laughs> Maybe I should have, you know, I don't know, because I've been saying like this summer as we're doing the videos through, like, you know, are they gonna are they gonna promote it as it being Rick's last year with season nine being Rick's last season? And they are, which is just just like unbelievable to me because I never thought they would ever do that. I never thought that they would ever promote a season as it being Rick's last season or, or Rick's final episodes, which is what some of the trailers have kind of being uh, promoting lately. Um, and even as they're doing that, I do still notice that the trailers they're releasing and the teasers they're releasing, they're like, you know, they're they're doing okay, but they're not <laughs> they're not even getting that many views. Like they're getting some, but it's not like that many people are really, you know, they're not getting as much buzz as even like All Out War did last year. And it's like they're promoting it as Rick's last seat. They're promoting it as his final episodes. And even still, as they're doing that, it's still not really having the impact that you think that it would based on AMC officially putting it in their, like their, their uh, video titles they're releasing for their teasers, like Rick's final episodes. It's just kind of crazy to see, right? To see that and then, you know, even still, it's like not that many people even really, <laughs> really care. Um, I do, you guys do, but you know, it's just it's just kind of really strange to see. There was also the Negan teaser where, you know, prepping it, getting it ready for me, right? Make sure you come back and tell me about that day too. So that's one good thing about The Walking Dead is that even though, you know, if they're gonna be having Rick leave this year or kill Rick off or whatever, we do still have Negan. So there are lots, you know, there are lots of characters in The Walking Dead, and certainly you're gonna need those if you want The Walking Dead to continue for ten years. But I mean, you know, got some good feedback here uh, from you guys yesterday in that, you know, it doesn't it's it's really strange to see them say that because it's kind of like the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing. Uh, Lucky Buns here says, uh, Rick's gone, Carl's dead, AMC says it's going to continue The Walking Dead for 10 more years. <laughs> you know, uh, I'll still watch for the story, but uh, ratings will drop uh, to its lowest when Rick leaves. And it's true, man. And what you said there makes a lot of sense as well, too. That was something last year in season eight that, you know, right away we had question, which is, if you're going to kill Carl off, you know, what is the future of the series? What do you plan on having the future of the series be? Because he was a no-brainer for a character that, for Chandler Riggs as Carl, that if you're going to want to keep the show going for another decade, if you're going to want to have it going for 10 years, why in why in the world would you kill off Carl? You know, it makes no sense. And, you know, yes, you can sit here and say, well, we can just replace him with Henry or whatever. It's like, yeah, but it's not that simple for the viewers. You know, like, I know you guys can do that in terms of the story and that, but it's not that simple for people that have been following the series since the first season. Uh, and again, you know, we've kind of discussed this a little bit already, but if you're, if you're losing Rick, and you still have Carl, and you want to do 10 years, then it's pretty simple to say, well, eventually, Carl will become, you know, the future of the show. But we can't do that now, because <laughs> he's dead. So it's, again, left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing. And on one hand, you're saying that you want another decade. On the other hand, you're killing off characters that you kind of need if you're going to want to have that those long-running characters. I mean, who would have been a better long-running character than, than Chandler Riggs' as Carl? If you had him in the show, you could have had him stay if he was okay with it, if he wanted to continue. And th these are conversations they should have had. They should have asked him, like, like you know, we're planning on having this go for another 10 years. Uh, can we get you to commit, you know, maybe have him sign a longer, a really long contract? Um to say that, hey, I'll stay on the show until, you know, late teen seasons, like another another decade or eight or nine years or whatever at maybe a good rate, you know, and it's like that you kind of need to you kind of need to lock that in because you probably want to have even if, you know, and it's not necessarily just about Carl, but as you're losing characters, as you have uh, cast members leaving to go do movies and to go do other series and, and to do this stuff. 
you need to have at least a couple, I think, from the very beginning of the show that are going to be in, in the Walking Dead universe, in the Walking Dead uh, original series, until pretty much the end. At least one. You probably want at least one. Um, so I don't know what they were thinking with that decision with season eight with that major major kill. It kind of seems like, um, you know, in terms of story, Gimple wanted to do that or, you know, the uh, writers wanted to do that. And they didn't really factor in that AMC wants another decade of the show, so you're going to keep him in there. It's like he should be safe because because that's that's what's best for the franchise it's not best for the franchise to kill off some of those original season characters that could actually last longer you know that's uh, that's really tricky so um oh man interesting stuff uh maybe it's daryl right so hacks uh xm says uh, and as beth said daryl is the last man standing so maybe maybe daryl will be that season one character that eventually takes over and is the lead for many more seasons to go. And I know Norman Reedus has kind of shot that down, saying that it's going to be an ensemble type of series. But you got to understand from the viewpoint of the fans, they're always going to want to connect a series with a, a certain set of characters, or at least probably in a lot, of, a lot of series, one character. You know, for the first nine seasons of The Walking Dead, it's Rick. You know, you think Walking Dead, you think Rick. Yes, there's Daryl. Yes, there's all these others here. But, you know, that's just the way you kind of process it because you see it from his point of view from the beginning. And that's kind of the way you see things uh, going through. So so if you're going to want to have it for another 10 years and how you're going to keep it going for another 10 years, if you can, you need to have certain star power. You need to have certain characters there that have a draw, that have a pull for your audience. And if you kill them all off, I don't know how you're going to do that. You know, how are you going to keep people watching? Because it's not enough just to have zombies. It's like, okay, yes, we have zombies. We have the world. We have some villains, random villains that come in here and there. That kind of deal. That's not enough. You also need characters that uh, emotionally the audience can connect to. And, uh, of course, that takes time. And if you bring in these newer characters, it's pretty difficult to get a emotional... Um, you know, uh, a response from people or an equivalent emotional response to somebody that has a nostalgia factor that people started watching eight years ago. You know, uh, it, it, like Norm Reedus has said, you know, <laughs> it warns AFC to be careful. There was an article on that last year with the season one characters. He's right. He's, he's, he's more right than he, at least in my opinion, than he probably even realized when he said that. Because if you want the series to go for that long, you need to treat, and I know anybody can die, this whole concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're going to have to do another 10 years, not everybody can die because there's certain characters that you're going to want to have throughout the show, right, throughout the series. And I know that they want to have this idea that the, the, the brand or The Walking Dead as a whole is bigger than any one character. And that's fine, but you need certain one characters to carry the show to draw for the show and luckily daryl's still there and they are right in that that he is a big draw for the walking dead certainly the ladies love him <laughs> we can't deny that so that's for sure uh, but then again you know who like i don't know um it's tricky when when we go a couple years and we lose so many of those those lead ones but who knows maybe andrew lincoln won't be killed off and eventually he'll come back even though they're promoting it as his final <laughs> final episodes so uh tricky for sure uh john Fayback says uh this would have been great news if uh i uh, heard this uh, last year but killing off carl the future of the show uh and then for fear this is a spoiler for fear madison being killed off in fear and now rick leaving what's the point 10 years without rick carl and maggie and that's true man it's uh it's one thing it's it's they're saying this but then you look at the story and you're thinking to yourself like like it's not that easy to build new characters you know as hard as they try it, it may not even be possible to build new characters that the audience ever cares about as much as Rick, right? Or maybe in some ways Carl or, or Maggie. But there were a lot of people that hated Carl so before he died. So I have to put that in there, right? Uh, Dr. Death says, Trav, you better not abandon us. And um, so don't worry, dude. Uh, Wingate14 says, Trav, I'm happy to say I'll be watching for at least another uh, 10 years of, of the channel. So, so thank you guys for that. And it is good news for what we do here. Uh, but here's, here's the... Uh, the add-on for that. The add-on for that is that um, we're going to keep going. I don't know if we can commit to 10 years. I don't know if you guys are going to want to commit to a decade or 10 years of, of, of the same series, right? We'll have to see. But I think what we can probably commit to, and even if The Walking Dead's popularity does dwindle a lot in the next, let's say, few years, um, what we probably can do is eventually we'll probably switch to just doing reviews, like one video 
for uh, an episode of the, of the series. So instead of doing like the additional Q&As and predictions and all this other stuff too, if The Walking Dead eventually you know, goes to the point where uh, a lot of those main cast and crew are dead in a few years, let's say, uh, in terms of characters, the characters are dead and they've moved on to other things and not that many people are watching The Walking Dead in a few years, what I can probably commit to is at least doing like a review for each episode, right? Like, like bare minimum. You see what I'm saying? So that even if it's not that hot anymore, people are not that interested in it, they don't want to discuss it to that extent, which I'm starting to see, we've seen this year, I would say, a lot, quite a bit uh, from the response I've gotten from you guys. Uh, what we'll probably do is we'll probably switch to doing like just a review for each episode or something like that, maybe just a couple videos per episode rather than making lots, you know, lots of videos like almost every day to the point where, I mean, years ago, two or three years ago, I pretty much would go a whole year in season seven or season eight or or six where we'd pretty much do a video almost every day like five or six videos a week and uh you know you guys would be into it every time this last year i've noticed not as much so it's like okay so maybe we just backshift a little bit but it is good news that they want to continue the series on through for a long time and it to be a long-running franchise for the channel for the station and at the very least even if we're not into it as much as we are now or as we have been in the past before we can maybe downshift to just watch the episode and just do like one review or something like that together. I think that uh, I think that makes a lot of sense. And maybe they can get another 10 years. Maybe they're right. Maybe they will get another 10 years out of The Walking Dead. But I think eventually what will happen is if you're not able to build, because it's already lost a lot of momentum in the last couple years as it is. If you're not able to build, you know, if, if Rick really is killed off this year, that's going to be a huge blow to the series. You know, your audience is going to go down a lot after that. But if they can keep it going and they can, you know, if they're okay with just getting like 3 million views an episode for a new airing, because it depends how much it costs for them to produce the Walking Dead original series. If they're okay with just getting like 3 million views an episode or 4 or maybe even 2 in the teens of seasons, then maybe they can keep it going for 10 years if they're okay with that. But the big question is how much does it cost to produce the show and can they still do it if it's only getting 2 or 3 million viewers per episode? Is that going to work? Or is it going to be like, okay, we got to cancel it? If they're okay with that and they can still make it work business-wise, then uh, maybe they're fine. Maybe they're all right with uh, continuing on for another 10 years if they're okay with those kind of uh, ratings. Because there's shows like Better Call Saul, for example, it doesn't get that many viewers. You know, like not as much as Breaking Bad did. Breaking Bad was super hot. It would get like five or six million or more viewers uh, an episode the last couple of years that was on seasons four and five. But Better Call Saul, I think, is only around a couple and it's uh, it's still going. So maybe... Maybe that's all they need, and maybe for The Walking Dead, they can do another 10 years because they don't need that much. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Uh, Stefan21 says, what's the point? All the characters we love will be gone by then. And uh, it's true. I'm hoping there's at least, maybe if it's Norm Reedus, if it's Daryl, if he's in for the long haul, then I'd appreciate it. Uh, I think all of us as fans would appreciate it. At least if there's one or two um, you know, cast members or, or, or people that are still around in you know a few years, you know, I think that would be really good. And then they can build new characters as well too and they can continue on the uh the series uh, for quite a while uh ghost of nicholas clark said uh better start patreon program dude uh, i would uh, take your youtube career <laughs> with a, a small patreon support over a nine to five job uh well you know it depends and i mean if, if you're just uh, for ghost of and i do have a patreon by the way if you guys want to support it i'll put a link in the description and i appreciate it uh even a buck or something is cool or if not that's fine too if you just want to watch the videos that's cool there's no problem uh, but so my logic for for keeping a full-time job while doing YouTube in addition to that. Um, the thing about it is, dude, is that it's not just me, right? Like, it's me and my wife and... Um you know, if you're if you're a single guy, if you're just by yourself, then maybe maybe that's cool. Maybe you're you're okay with just just doing YouTube by itself. But if you have other people that rely on you, it's really tough to do something like that because you know the years go by, and I'm still pretty young. Like I'm 32, so I'm gonna have to support myself until I'm 65. So that's you know until you retire, if I'm still alive at that point. So that's you know 33, a long time, man, like 33 years, right? Uh, and then I have to support me and I have to support my wife too. So the thing about that is, is like, can you do that on, that's really hard to do on YouTube because as you've seen with the interest, because I think of this YouTube channel a lot as a TV series in a lot of ways where, you know, you can get hot for a certain little while and things can be going really well, but then afterwards, maybe not, maybe not so much. So 
it's really tough to read because you have to reinvent it every so often as well too, right? Like if The Walking Dead continues on this kind of decline in the next couple of years, I'm going to have to try to reinvent the channel and do other things and that kind of deal. And so to do that full time and to try to rely on that for two people is pretty difficult. If you're just one guy by yourself, you know, single guy, then then yeah, maybe that's what you do. But if you have a family, things like this, you know, it can get really tricky. So that's why I decided not to not to go that route. But I want to thank you guys for all your support and everything. And yes, uh, there's a Patreon account. You can buy a shirt from the store, and I do appreciate that. Uh, Dad Boy says that this has to be a joke, right? And no, it's not a joke. This is serious. Uh, AMC seriously did say this. This is what they want to do. Um, it's a little bit perplexing, yes. Um, Thanos 2000 says, another 10 years, damn. And last I heard Chandler Riggs before his departure confirmed season 8 uh, to be one of the last few seasons of the show. Well, here's the deal. Maybe he knew that Andrew Lincoln was going to be leaving pretty soon. Maybe he knew that, right? Maybe he was aware of that. And so that's why he said that it'd be the last few years of the show. Um, of course, he wouldn't know what the big wigs at AMC wanted to do with the series. But he may have been thinking in terms of uh, Andrew Lincoln leaving. And then, of course, him thinking that they would probably end the show after Andrew Lincoln leaves, after Rick is gone. But uh, that's not what they're going to do. So if that's what he was thinking, then uh, I wouldn't say he's wrong in terms of that. Certainly the fan base will respond this season. We're going to see it soon. You know, we only got three weeks so until the season starts. So it's going to be soon. But, um, yeah, man, I mean, uh, you know, that was probably his perspective at that time. You know, in, in total honesty, that's probably what he thought. He probably thought, well, another few years. And I can't say he's wrong. We'll see how this goes in the next couple of years, right? We'll see. Um Bowman's World will be the last one who says, Woohoo, I'll be on this roller coaster for life. The Walking Dead is my favorite franchise of all time. And it is mine too, you know, for, for Bowman's World. It is mine too as well. I'm happy that they're that they're in it. And uh, you know, for for long haul, and uh, we'll see we'll see how it goes, man. We'll we'll see what they got for us. We'll see what they have planned. They said they have a plan in place, so that's good. Uh, I hope it's a good plan, maybe Commonwealth and, you know, fear being connected to the original through that or something eventually. Um, we'll see what their what their idea is or what their plan is. So I'm happy for that. Anyway, uh, that'll be it for today's uh, video, guys. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments below and send me more questions for the Q&As. We're getting pretty close now. So they've been releasing more trailers and stuff we can take a look at and give our thoughts on. But I thought this was more important than just a trailer because this is really the future of the series for the series to even be around anyway. And I'm happy to hear that according to the uh, the bosses, <laughs> it's uh, according to them, they're saying, yes, it will be around. So, uh, okay, we'll see. Uh, that'll be it for this video, guys. If you'd like to, please sum it up below. You can share, you can favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate you can do it bottom left to subscribe. That's it for this one. See you guys again soon for another video. As always, this is Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. I'll see you soon.